Good evening and welcome to the Pipe Report. So I didn't mean to do a video like this right now, a video monologue. Um, all my future video monologues are going to be synonymous with what I did, for instance, with the Illinois economic collapse video, or the truth about gun control, or I also did proving the Federal Reserve is a privately owned bank and not a government branch. So essentially, all my future video monologues will be synonymous with those videos, meaning that there will be video editing happening inside the video. So it will be pictures and videos and I'll put like, you know, words up on top, sentences, trying to properly elaborate the issue I'm talking about to make it easier to understand. This one is not like that, but I wanted to kind of talk about some stuff before I do that. Anyways, I'm bringing this up because in the future now, I want to get at least one video monologue done a week. And those, those are what people seem to like the most, it appears, based on my um, YouTube analytics. So I want to do those at least once a week. I'm thinking maybe every Thursday. That's still open in the air. I have to do more. Um, have to do. have to think a little bit more about that. On Thursday, I have an interview with Coffee with Comment. We're going to be doing an audio interview, and we're going to be having a little slideshow with that. So look for that on Thursday. But... The primary reason here, the primary reason why I'm doing this last video monologue or this last type of video monologue is because I just got done watching an interview between Dave Rubin and Ben Shapiro. And it was, it was an older one last year, February 2016, and they were discussing a lot of different, different things. And I was reading a lot of the comments and people were comparing Ben Shapiro's ideology with discrimination. And I will go into detail exactly what they're referring to, but I disagree with it completely. So I want to do a video explaining why I disagree with it and why it is important for free society in order to function properly. That my idea, I know it sounds kind of pretentious, but my idea should be adopted in order to actually function properly in a free society. But the main issue now, the main issue with the whole Dave Rubin and Ben Shapiro argument from people in the comments was they're talking about gay marriage a lot. And I agree with Ben Shapiro that Ben Shapiro that I don't think government should be involved in marriage. I don't care if gay people get married. It doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't bother me at all. But I don't think the government should be involved in marriage. I think if we have as limited government as possible, it'll make things better for all of us. So that is a key note there. But anyways... Regarding this now, he brought up some examples of a baker, this is last year, remind you, of Baker, who was being sued and being, I think, arrested for selling or for refusing to sell goods to a lesbian couple. He's being sued like over $165,000 and stuff like that. And the argument against that baker is because he is discriminating against them. He is discriminating against their sexual orientation. Well, I find that argument completely flawed. And I'm going to say something that, for those who don't agree with me, are going to think that I am a bigot. You're going to think I am discriminating. But here is the facts. A private owner of an establishment should have the right to refuse service to anyone he or she chooses to. It doesn't matter what aggregate he or she uses to determine who they're going to refuse service to. So if I was a private business owner and I had a restaurant, for example, and a black person walked in, it is my right to say, you know what? No, I'm not going to serve any blacks or I'm not going to serve any gays or I'm not going to serve any whites. I know that sounds like discrimination, but it's not because that is your personal establishment. That is your per private property. And when people want to look at that and kind of argue against that, you got to think too that if I would do those, be, that type of behavior, I'm going to lose business because there are plenty of other restaurants around the U.S. or around the state, around the city that I am located in. So those people who are going to be angry at me for not serving them, they're going to go get their cheeseburger somewhere else or go somewhere else to eat. Not only that, social media is so rapid nowadays, they can completely, completely write horrible reviews and destroy my establishment. So by me discriminating against somebody for their race or their gen gender or sexual orientation, it's really only negatively reflecting my business. So those who feel that that's discrimination, they shouldn't. Because that is synonymous, for instance, of the government saying that this person or this person can enter your home 
anytime they choose to. And you have to allow them to enter your home because if you don't, you are discriminating against them. Now, people might look at that and say, no, that doesn't really, that, that doesn't really line up. But yes, it does because your home is your private establishment. It is your private home. People cannot go into your home without your permission. The same thing, it's the same concept with goods and services, with restaurants in this case. That is your private establishment. You have the right to refuse service to anyone you deem unfit. It could be morally, it could be based on morality or it could be reprehensible actions. Like you could be a racist and you could maybe hate all black people and all Latinos and stuff like that. And people could hate you for being a racist. Either way, that racist person has the right to refuse service to anyone. That is a free enterprise. That is minimal government involvement. Because if you force that person to serve somebody, even though he doesn't want to, you are stepping on that person's rights. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because one of the comments, he said, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line between refusing gay services or service to a gay couple I mean, if, if you do that, could, couldn't you do that to gender? Couldn't you do that to race? And my response to him was yes. Yes, you can. Unless that is a public establishment. For instance, if it's a school or any type of public place, that means it is owned by the state and federal government. That means that there is laws. There are discrimination laws that are being upheld there. So the state and federal government, they have no choice. It is in the Constitution. It is a law. But when it comes to a private enterprise, that is different. And I think that is key here. And I know people might view this video and think, oh, racist right away. But no, it's not true at all. If I was a, if I was a private business owner, I would let gay people in. I would let black people in, white people. It doesn't matter. I would let everybody in because I would want to be the best I can at my business. My argument, though, is that what I would do doesn't mean that everyone should have to do it. If, some, if a race opens up a restaurant down the street from me, they, and they don't want me in there, maybe they race against white people. Yes, I'd be pissed not being able to go in, but that is their right. And you know what? I would go somewhere else. Then I would write a horrible review about their restaurant online, and they might lose business that way. So people have to understand that. It's not racism. It's not discrimination. It is your right as a private business owner. But like I said, this is my last video monologue with this type, where I just sit and talk in front of a camera, for the most part, if I do do this, it might be more screen capture where you won't see my face, you just hear my voice. But all my future video, mo video monologues, I want you to kind of correlate them uh, with what I did in the past, with my truth about gun crime, with my Illinois economy, with the Federal Reserve, all that stuff, because I think that's far more interesting and there's more uh, video editing available. And I think it really, um, it really gets people more involved and more interested in the videos. I do like doing this too, but the other one I think would be better for my channel overall and I think more people would like to see that instead of this. But that is in a nutshell what I want to say that it's not up to the government to dictate who has to, who gets served and who doesn't get served. What is discrimination when you're dealing with a private enterprise? Public enterprise by all means. Publicly owned means the state owns it, the government owns it. Yes, then there is laws like that. But a private establishment is synonymous with a private home. You have the right to refuse anyone to enter your home. You should have that same right to refuse anyone to enter your establishment. And I'm done.